Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Mikko RC. In this video, I speed test the new 104001 from WL Toys, and we also take it out for a bash. But sadly, things don't go quite as planned. Alright, first run now guys, starting off with a speed test on the stock 2S battery. I've tightened up the wheel nuts and so now let's see how fast it goes. Stock out of the box guys. It's a 1 tenth scale 4 wheel drive, 550 sized brush motor on 2S LiPo. Pretty smooth. But hmm, pretty slow, eh? Okay, let's see. We got 39 kilometers per hour. Not very impressive, I guess, compared to the smaller scale WR Toys buggies. But it's a pretty heavy car, this one. Let's do another few runs. Probably needs a battery warmed up a bit. All right, we got 41 kilometers per hour. Looks like that's the top speed we'll get on this 110 scale brush buggy on 2S. So next, let's go out the backyard and do a bit of bashing on the ramp. Oh, a bit of a bad landing there. First jump, whoops. There we go, nice. Quick and responsive off-road. <laughs> Small jump. Nice and safe. Whoops. Jump off the edge there. Whoa. Pretty rough landing, that one. Don't worry. You should take it, I'm sure. Nice and high, that one. A few more. Oops, off the edge again. Alright, so the camera shut off for a while without me realising it. Uh, looks like we've lost a wheel nut. A wheel nut and a pin. Gee, this plastic hex looks rather slipped in that wheel, eh? Alright, so I've replaced the pin and the wheel nut. Let's do a few more jumps. Oh no. What's that crunching sound, man? Hmm. Doesn't sound too good at all. Something must have got damaged from the last jump. But it didn't really seem that bad of a jump at all, right? Just running the motor here and trying to find where the crunching sound is coming from exactly. Everything seems to be looking fine at the rear. Might be coming from the front. Look at this. As I roll the car back and forth, I can feel the wheels locking up. See? Far out. What's going on? Going to have to open it up, hey? All right, let's take a closer look. Rear seems to be fine. Wow, locking up. 
locking up is happening at the front for sure. Issue must be at the front diff. I'll open it up. Okay, so I've just removed the front diff casing and I can see tiny fragments of steel here. The crown gear teeth seems to look okay though, but oh my god, there's no grease on this whatsoever. That's just crap, man. Bloody lazy WL toys. Oh, f look at that. Damn. That's not good at all. What happened, mate? Ah, uh, not good. Didn't even bash it hard, did I? Teeth fragments all over here. Bevel gear is wrecked. That sucks, eh? I wonder if they have parts available yet for these. But yeah, the crown gear on the diff looks absolutely fine, but there's no grease. I wonder if no grease contributed to this. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think. I had a look inside the diff, and at least there's some grease in there. But yeah, now we've got to find this part, this bevel part. I wonder if Maker Fire will help you out here. According to the manual, the model number is K949-43. Let's look that up. From the looks of it, this part was used in an earlier model by WL Toys, the K949. Never seen this car before, I wonder how old it is. God, it's like five years old, at least. It's 2021 and WL Toys are reusing a part used on a model from six years ago. Crikey. I wonder if they've even ever improved this part at all since 2015. Anyway, I decided to contact Maker Fire Support for advice and also complained about my ESC fan still not working. They responded a few hours later and advised that they'll send me a new bevel gear, which is really nice of them. So thanks Maker Fire, really nice uh, customer support. Anyway. May as well remove the bevel gear and get the car back together so that at least it'll work in two-wheel drive mode. These drive shafts can be a pain to remove. I'll just use my trusty blowtorch to heat up the Loctite on these grab screws and Bob's your uncle. Once I got the drive shaft off, I just had to tap on the gear a bit to let it come out, along with the bearings. And I bagged to remove parts for safekeeping. The front assembly is now back together and I can reattach it to the chassis. Alright, there it is. Now in rear wheel drive mode. That'll do good for now while we wait for the part from Maker Fire, um, the replacement bevel gear. Alright guys, well, that was my first run of the all new WL Toys 104001, their latest 110th scale four wheel drive buggy. Uh, no, not four-wheel drive, it's a rear-wheel drive now. <laughs> I guess this run didn't go quite as planned. Um, I didn't get a proper bashing or a proper session uh, with this car. Hopefully next time I'll be able to drive it around more, get a better feel for it, and um, yeah, enjoy it a bit more. But uh, for now, see you next time, and bye for now. Thanks for watching.